guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a little get ready with me and we're doing a night shift. I've got one night shift tonight and I thought I'd show you what I do before my night shifts at work in the hospital. So this is a bit of a routine that I've got myself into over many years of doing night shifts as a doctor and as a healthcare assistant. Um, and this is the routine that works for me. So the day of my first night shift, I just get up, have my morning as normal, then I try and get some exercise in. I find that um, getting outside just makes me feel better mentally and um, you know moving your body is always a good idea and for me before a night shift I find that it helps me kind of unwind and makes me feel good so Vince and I are going to go and take Bonnie out for a long walk now the sun's shining I think we've got about half an hour until the rain comes so we're gonna get out and try and miss the rain Hello, good girl. <laughs> We've just bathed this little lady and she hates bath time, but she was so muddy after our walk, weren't you, Bonnie? <laughs> she sulks after bath time. We're gonna give you some treats and have a nap. We had an absolutely lovely walk with the dog and then we came home, had some lunch, the dog's gone down for a nap and I played with my new toy, which is a carpet shampooer that I bought in the Black Friday sales and guys, Call me sad, but it's made me really excited. I am actually very, very happy to have sad. a carpet shampoo. <laughs> Vince is shouting sad. Um, just tried it out on our on one of our sofas. Um, as you guys know, we're moving house soon, and I wanted to get the house all clean before we leave and uh, clean the new carpets when we move into our next place. Anyway, I'm sitting here about to upload a video, a vlog, um, and then once that's uploaded, I'm gonna go for my nap. It's about, what time is it, about three? Let's say it's about three. Okay, it's about five in the afternoon now. My video is uploaded. Um, I'm really glad to be getting more regular videos out. I've got a new video editor, Tim, he's amazing. And it's meaning that I have the ability to get more videos out because editing just takes me so damn long. Anyway, that's uploaded. I am now ready to come and have my nap. So I always try and have a nap before my first night shift. Um, normally I do struggle to get to sleep in the day for a nap, but recently, as you've seen in my previous vol vlogs, <laughs> I keep talking about how tired I am all the time and you can see in my face how tired I've been in those vlogs. Um, so I haven't really been struggling too much and I'll probably get a couple of hours sleep now and then we'll get up and get ready for my shift together. Oh wait, one last thing before I go to sleep. I have a blackout blind, which is amazing. It makes the room really nice and dark for naps in the daytime. And this is something I have recommended many times in my videos and in my newsletter. And if you haven't got one by now, guys, what are you doing? You need one of these in your life one of these eye masks it's a blackout eye mask and it's got indentations I don't think you can see it here but it's got indentations for your eyes so it is completely blackout it's amazing I'll link it down below you need to buy one and it's like 10 pounds which is a lot of money for an eye mask but well worth every penny I have two of them and I rotate them chuck them in the wash each week with my bed linen amazing really great get one got master chef in action over here we have, uh, we're having lamb kofta's tonight. Got some whole wheat pita breads. I always find that having stuff uh, whole wheat makes me feel more full for work. Got some uh, Purina dog food. Oh no, that's not for us. Um, and then some, what is this stuff called? It's like yogurt, cucumber, garlic and salt with a bit of mint. Some lamb kofta's to go in and then just spread that all in the mixture, add a bit of salad and some broccoli. And that is a wrap. I also have an iced coffee, which I'm drinking out of a crystal glass to make me feel fancy. I use this Azira coffee powder because it dissolves in cold or hot water, so you can make iced coffee really easily. And I just mix that with a couple of ice cubes, some milk and some cold water. 
Now it's time to prep arguably the most important part of my night shift routine. I take this water bottle with me, it's a thermal one, and I have it in a large size and a small size. I take the large one for my water and I refill it a few times through the shift. And then this smaller one I use to take coffee with me, which again, for me, is important. These bottles are amazing. I'll have them linked down below and they are a perfect bottle to take to work. And if any of you have any friends who work in healthcare or you just want to get a kind of thermal bottle for yourself, I would definitely recommend these ones. They're so much less fiddly than the Thermos ones that I used to use, which had two lids. These ones are a lot more streamlined as well. So great bottle here, would definitely recommend it. The food that I take with me on a night shift is important because it can be the making of a shift. You can have a really great shift if you take good nutritious food with you that's filling and for me I like to take things that are kind of snacky so that if I'm not feeling what I've taken with me you know I've got options and that keeps my energy levels sustained through the night shift so here I've got some leftover brown rice from last night's meal I'm adding some tuna some mayonnaise and some frozen peas and the peas just help keep the meal cold so that if there isn't any space in the fridge that I know that my food will stay nice and cool so in my lunchbox I take my main meal, which is the tuna and rice combo. Um, I've also got my drinks, my water, my coffee, and then I take with me a banana, an apple, and one of these nut bars. And these nut bars are just from Aldi. Um, they're a bit of a rip-off of the naked bars, but they're great. They're just nuts and fruit blended together, and they are nice and filling and a little sweet treat. I normally have this on my drive home at the end of the shift. So I'm just about to get dressed for work. This is the sports bra that I tend to wear under my uniform. Um, these come in a pack of three from Amazon. They are so comfy. I love them and they're really good value. I'll link them down below. And then I just wear a little camisole under my uniform to keep me warm because it can be quite cold on night shifts, especially in November. And then I pack a pair of leggings and a long sleeve top to take with me in my bag to get change in, changed into after my shift because we're not allowed to wear our uniforms home. We have to pack it up in a bag and take it home with us and put it straight into a 60 wash. Right, so it's about quarter past nine now and I like to leave for work about 20 past nine. My shift starts at 10 so that gives me plenty of time to drive in and get myself sorted when I get there. So I've got five minutes to sort out this situation. <laughs> um, I always pre-iron my uniforms a few days in advance just when I do the washing um, so that I'm not rushing on the day of my shift and I can just grab one out of my wardrobe. I don't know why I'm explaining to this to you guys. You understand the concept of ironing. Um, yeah, so the good thing about masks, the masks that we're wearing at work, is that I don't need to really wear makeup. I mean, you don't need to wear makeup anyway, but um, I always like to look quite smart and presentable for work. I feel like it's a way of showing respect to um, patients and staff, showing that you're taking your job seriously, making yourself look presentable and smart. Right, so at the moment I've just been wearing like literally mascara and that's it and like trying to make my hair look smart. So that's what we're gonna go with today. My hair's quite dirty, but I don't see the point in washing it before this shift because I'm gonna wash it in the morning when I get home anyway. So a little bit of dry shampoo. Should do the trick. You can hear Bonnie barking downstairs. And then I pretty much always do the same <laughs> hairstyle for work. Basically just grab the two sides and twist like so. Put one of these little clips in. These are just from H&M. Just put it into the back. Literally no idea if you can see what I'm doing. And then tie a hairband around the whole lot. <coughs> like that. And then I try and make the twists look a bit more interesting by pulling little bits out and then giving myself a little bit of volume at the back. And then twisting the whole lot. and adding one of these massive clips just somewhere at the bottom. 
and then trying to add a little bit of volume by pulling bits out like this. I'm hoping you can actually see what I'm just trying to show you. <coughs> and then just smartening up the front a little bit and trying to hide any evidence of <laughs> dry shampoo. If I had time, I would like get my straighteners and curl this so it looked smarter, but we're running late on time, so I'm just gonna go and check the back in the bathroom mirror. Okay, it's not bad. It's not the best hairstyle I've ever done, but it'll do, it'll do. I have to take off my engagement ring for work as well. You're not allowed to wear anything with a stone in, which always makes me sad. I always want to wear it, but never mind. Just one of those things. And a little bit of mascara, just to make me look less like my eyes are completely bald. Most of the nurses at work have those um, eyelashes that are like extended, I don't know what you'd call them, like the, the ones that you'd get done at a salon. And they look so good and they just turn up to work looking amazing and say that it doesn't take any time or effort. And I'm always very tempted but um, I've never actually gone and got them done. Have you guys ever had that done, the eyelash? Are they called eyelash extensions? Am I just getting that completely wrong? I'm very tempted because I think it would, I mean, not that it takes me ages to put mascara on, but I think they look so much better than mascara and I have such fair, fine eyelashes that I think it would um, open up my eyes a little bit and decrease my time getting ready. One of the things I have done, um, oh, I've just got mascara in my hair. No, one of the, I'll just clip that bit back. Um, one of the things I've done this year to save me a lot of time is um, I got myself uh, at the hair salon um, one of those like permanent hair straightening treatments. My hair is quite naturally fluffy and frizzy and it has saved me so much time because now when I blow dry my hair I literally just blast it and it dries straight rather than having to like blow dry it, style it and um, straighten it. It's great. So that's a real time saver. Very expensive, but in my opinion, worth it. Anyway, guys, I better dash to work. Don't want to be late. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm working at 10 p.m. till 8 a.m. shift. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these kind of get ready with me vlogs, or maybe I could do a get unready with me where I show you my morning routine after a night shift, or um, my get ready routine for a day shift. I don't know, let me know what you'd like to see. It's always a pleasure having you guys come along for the ride with me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. 12 seconds later. Oh, one last thing before I go. Just got to put some uh, makeup on my eyebrows so we have a couple more minutes. Um, I also wanted to mention about skincare because this is something that used to really confuse me about doing um, night shifts. I didn't know whether to put on my morning skincare regime or my evening skincare regime when I first started doing nights because obviously, you know, you're staying up all night. Um, and I have come to the conclusion that it's better to just stick to my evening routine. So I put on like my retinol um, before I do a night shift as if I was going to bed. <clears throat> and obviously I don't wear my SPF because the sun is not out and I am in A&E, which is basically a basement that has no windows anyway, even if it was daytime. Um, and then when I come home in the morning, I put on my morning skincare regime and um, except for the SPF again, and then I just go straight to sleep, um, obviously after having showered and everything. But yeah, so I really am gonna go now, guys. Bye. A few inches later. Oh no, wait, I do have one more thing to show you. The things I am taking with me. So I always have my stethoscope that goes around my neck. I have my pen and my pen torch. They go in my two top pockets. I have a lip balm. I have hand cream this guys is amazing i will link all of this down below this is so so great if you're someone who's having to wash your hands a lot i.e everyone in this pandemic and especially healthcare workers this stuff is great and my name badge slash swipe card and lots of pieces of paper to write down notes and patient histories that's me i've got to go see you later guys bye